<laughs> I think it was around November. I decided to do something I've never done before. I announced that I was going to publish a video breaking down some of the works that I did for the exhibition. Some of the work that I'm showing, which is also what this video is going to entail, I'm breaking down the process. This works with Adam, Eve, Know Yourself. The interesting thing was, I actually wasn't ready as I, when I made the video. I was too busy doing other things. It wasn't until somebody messaged me and they said, oh, we're waiting for the documentary. This was a month after. I thought to myself, what have I done? Uh, so I had to reach out to some of my friends to put everything together quickly for me. So normally what I do is I create the works, but I'm not used to telling the story. Like I'm not used to showing people the side. This is a breakdown of how I got to create some of the works. You know, I talked about the lines, the sketches, the composition, the textures, the shapes. Golden ratios, it's like a blueprint format. These are all elements that I consider an important component of how I get to create these works. So if you're really interested to see how many of these are coming together, I think you should watch the video. This is for you. I think someone might find value in it. So take the time, watch the video, and tell me what you think about it. Sketches come first for me when I'm approaching any new work. So I come up with several drafts just so I can have a proper understanding of what I'm about to embark on. You know, as I draw sketches or make models, I'm aware that the designs do not reach a full state of expression until they are fully rendered, until the work has been framed or hung on the wall or displayed in front of an audience. What this phase means is the unity of purpose and a clarity of where I'm headed. So I will only be satisfied with the sketch if it aids the story that I intend to tell in the right way. Line defines form. Its importance in composition stems from its versatility. The character of a line is very expressive. Line can enclose space. A line can create a shape. When you take a close look at the air detail for Eve, there are spiral lines in varying degrees that when observed as a whole, gives the hair its full form. In fact, I can also use the eraser to achieve this. We can see that the line has different qualities, directions, length, and thickness. So I most of the time use the Tombow Mono erasers to create this curvy highlight in spiral form. So back to the blocking method that I explained, when you, when you get to the level where you're beginning to add texture to your air, now this is very, very useful for you to do. Shapes. Line ultimately creates shape or form. You know, shapes can be geometrical, such as circles. We could have squares, we could have triangles. You know, they can also be organic. And the more geometric they are, the more formality they tend to suggest. Interestingly, in the case of Eve, the use of lines and shape in this piece is intentional. Uh, the purpose is to suggest a, a metaphorical idea about the representation of strength and beauty. When I look and observe a woman, I am softened by her charm and curves and feel in myself something of our sweetness, something of our grace, something of our calmness and gentleness. To think about beauty in this way is very limiting. Beauty isn't always smiles, curves or dimples. This is why I also included contrasting elements in the direct use of rigid and straight lines to create these angular shapes and edges 
that engulfs her altogether. The work process, of course, involves me engaging with her. She came through to the studio and we started talking about what life really means to her and how she has grown as a woman, how she has evolved to be a new person. And, you know, this constant openness of mind has led her to new dimensions, new realms of dimensions. That's what I believe life is all about. We're meant to embrace the unknown. We're meant to be open-minded. We're meant to evolve as an individual and also learn to collaborate as well. The proportional relationship between negative space and mass also established a rhythm and it gave the entire piece a sense of movement. As a result, the symbolism of strength and beauty is present, not just from our beauty and curves, but also the pain and sacrifices represented by the use of these shapes to allow me frame the main subject to provide an overall focus for the composition. As simply represented in the title, women are often referred to as the source of life on earth. In the Yoruba tribe where I'm from, women are likened to mean multiplier. It is in her very nature to add to whatever she's given. This relates to the idea of her origin as it dates back to the time of the creation of man in the Christian doctrine. The Adam and Eve symbolic to that story. For me, what I'm, I think what I'm most proud of is how I'm able to grow. So it's a mental thing for me. So yeah, it was, it was that. It was the fact that I would think I could not do this thing. And some months, days, years down the line, I'm seeing myself and I'm like, wow, that she really did good. The art is inside you and this is what makes it relevant. There is nothing in a form than the meaning that you give to it, you know, regardless of the size. So you have to, you have to pour yourself into the art. You have to stand in front of it and experience the art itself. Let me summarize what led me to this. You know, we all had a, an unbelievable year, 2020, an unbelievable year. It was, you know, an eye opener in so many ways. And we all have our takeaways, but I learned so much about the very nuance of human interaction and why communication is an integral part of what makes us unique and complex creatures, you know. Our traditional mode of interacting with one another has been altered as a result of the pandemic, but what this has done is to bring our consciousness to even more ways of communicating outside normal circumstances that we're used to. And what this did to me, in a way, is to make me learn the importance of community. You know, it's also why I'm paying more attention to documenting my work process now and sharing with you. It has unlocked a new mode of communication and I'm loving every bit of it. You are a major part of this experience and I'm constantly looking forward to meeting new people. So feel free to share and leave your comments in the comment section. You know, let's get to know each other. Let's nurture this dream of human interaction and exchange of ideas. I think this explains why I love drawing portraits so much, you know.